What's up YouTube? This is GeForce from XTS Gaming with some Rainbow Six Siege Terrace Hunt Lone Wolf action with Blackbeard. This is what Blackbeard does best. Peak windows with impunity. The, basically the building is blocking the bottom half, the shield is blocking the head and the shoulders so you can't be headshot while you're peeking these windows. The only weakness is from the flanks at that point. So if people are roaming outside looking for you, that's when you're most vulnerable. The ballistic shield that attaches to the Scar H in this situation can take up to 30 rounds of a submachine gun, maybe a couple of rounds of a shotgun close in, and nearly 8 rounds of Tachanka's fixed machine gun. The fire rate on the Scar H is slow. Uh, the number of rounds in the magazine in the chamber is 21, and so I think that's the balancing act for this pretty much overpowered character who is pretty tough to take down especially if you're in a head-to-head -head gun fight. Peeking corners. Blackbeard has the advantage of not being able to be headshot as he peeks, plus he gets the peeker's advantage at the same time. There's a cheap kill by using the drone to spot the uh, terrorist on the other side of the wall, so I just basically shot him through the wall. Same thing through here, through the barricade. But if you're playing Lone Wolf, you do have to use your drone to figure out where the terrorists are because there's a lot more of them than there are of you. With Blackbeard, he's definitely not a character or operator that you need to rush around with. You need to pick your cover carefully. At this point, I'm trying to flank around, and you can't move very fast with you when you have the ballistic shield attached. So you just have to remember that taking cover, peeking corners, using the ballistic shield at full, full advantage is the best way to get the most out of Blackbeard. Blackbeard on multiplayer is probably going to be a must-have for every team as he can be a point man or just someone who flanks and takes out uh, the enemy through windows or long hallways and locks them down. The accuracy of the Scar H is pretty powerful and the recoil is a little bit heavy but with the foregrip and the compensator it does make it somewhat manageable actually the recoil seems to go down a bit with the shield on there it might be because of the weight of the shield is reducing some of that recoil and herein lies the weakness of the scar H not a whole lot of ammo time to reload and pick up the hostage up to the roof to get a good view of the extraction point and pick off all the remaining terrorists. It's important to remember before you repel up to look out to see if there's any enemy outside that could pick you up as you're repelling up to the roof. Now it's time to get ready to drop the hostage. Switch back to the primary weapon. Use the ballistic shield to protect the entire upper part of your body while picking off these guys down at the street level making it for easy headshots and they're trying to shoot me back but basically just hitting my ballistic shield not causing any damage to me. I'm able to pretty much clear the extraction zone of all the final terrorists and then once that's done I'll be able to get down to the extraction zone pretty much unscathed. Blackbeard's secondary weapon is pretty powerful too, it's the Desert Eagle. The recoil on that weapon is ridiculous. You're not going to be able to land two quick shots in the same area, so you'll have to make sure that you're aiming pretty well with it, but basically it causes so much damage, almost assault rifle level damage, that two shots should be able to take down anybody. And if you can, of course if you get that headshot, that's always a good thing, because that'll drop them instantly. When you have that out, that's all you have as far as your protection. So if you're somebody nearby, drop it. Come back to the trusty primary. Let them take a few shots at you. Peek the corner, take them out, pick up the hostage again, and move in towards the extraction point. Getting ready to use the hand cannon, just in case. In Terrace Hunt, there's three levels 
of difficulty normal, hard, and realistic. Normal would be considered your average. The terrorists don't aim too well. They don't cause as much damage, whereas hard, they cause more damage, aim better, and realistic, they cause a lot of damage and are very accurate. And they'll do strange things like shoot you and then throw frags on top of your body to make sure you're dead. With Blackbeard's Victory Lab, this is GeForce from XTS Gaming, signing off.